hello everyone in today's video we are going to learn about blend corner so uh, why we use a blend corner to make a smooth smooth fillet at the corner uh, the important of the blend corner is uh, to uh, smoothly flow the material along with the all part so let me show you simply what the blend corner means okay so simply you have created one fillet over here okay so you have created one fillet over here the second fillet is over here and the third fillet was over here so we have to smooth at the corner so that's why we use the blend corner command so it will flow the material smooth at the corner okay so let me show you the difference first i will put the simple fillet so the value is 20 and the next is this fillet so always 20 so you are able to see we have uh, used the simple fillet operation at the corner so now i'm going to add the simple fillets and hide the trim now i am going to use the blend corner command at the corner so it is simply you have to open the edge fillet again okay now here you have to click on the more okay so you are able to see here the blend corner so you have to right click on here so you are able to see there are the two methods which you can create the blend corner the first one is created by edge and the second is created by the vertex so we go to the second one first it is simply you have to just click the here the center point so i hope you see it's getting highlighted so i'm just going to click over there so now here you're able to see the 20 20 20 automatically it's captured and here is the distance 10 10 10 so you are able to see here also the distance calls the setback distance so you can simply put the value over here 50 just click on the preview and click on the ok so you are able to see the corner is uh, created smoothly so let me show you the difference between uh, the simple fillet and the blend corner so i will going to change the color of the blend corner it's orange and the simple fillet is going to be yellow so i'm going to unhide the simple fillet so here you are able to see so we have already smoothened this corner okay so if you want more smoothen then you can double click over here just simply increase the setback distance okay i hope you understand how this blend corner work okay but sometimes we are required a different setback distance so how it can be done so you have to just double click on the fillet and simply double click on the setback distance so you can manage individually also if you want 80 okay you can change to 50 okay you can change to 60 it's up to you you can uh, individually also can change the setback distance over here i'm just going to click ok so this is how it look if you change the setback distance individually okay it's totally depend on the operation uh, how you required for your part okay so this we use for the simple edge fillet okay sometimes you have to use for the variable also so let me show you how to use in a variable fillet i'm going to hide this okay unhide the trim now we we are going to use the command by using a, a variable fillet okay so let me show you in the variable fillet the same we have to done you have to click on the here more so you are able to see here is one an, uh, blend corner in the more option okay so you have to right click over here again so here are the option created by edge or created by the vertex so if you want to create it by the edge then you have to select the edge the first by using control option okay let me show you how it's done so that's why we have to close the whole window okay now we have to select the first edge now use control option and select the all, all the remaining two edges
so here i used the control button and selected the all whole the three edges now we have to click on the variable fillet command so here is uh, the com our command is get open you have to click on the more and just right click on the blend corner and select the option created by the edges so you are able to see uh, here is some uh, clumsiness is created so I'm going to remove this all the points. We don't require all the six elements here. We just require three elements. If you want more elements, then you can add uh, by just clicking on the edge. Let me show you how it's done. So I'm just going to right click or uh, I'm going to click over here. Come on. Okay. By using sh shift, I'm going to remove the, uh, the all points at one time. Okay, I have removed the all point. Now I'm going to add the point one by one. So I'm going to add the over here 20, here 20, and here 20. Okay, I'm going to change the setback distance over here 50. Preview. Okay, so right now I want my fillet change. So I'm going to double click on the fillet. Going to click here 30. Okay. Going to click here 25. Okay. I'm just going to keep the value 20 as it is. Okay, now you can change its the setback distance as I said previously. So I'm just going to click OK here. So you are able to see we have managed to uh, this fillet is 25. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this fillet is 30. This fillet is 25, and this fillet is 20. So you can use the blend corner option in variable fillet also. So I hope you understand the edge fillet blend corner and the variable fillet blend corner and the difference between simple fillet and blend corner. It's not necessary to every time you have to provide the blend corner at the corner. But when uh, the metal is not flowing or it create it, it, uh, it, uh, it create a crack in your part, then you have to provide a blend corner to, sim to simply flow the metal smoothly. Okay, sometimes you required more a uh, smooth and operation than the blend corners so then you have to use a chamfer over here let me show you okay so this is what our corner then you have to create one chamfer triangular chamfer over here like this then you have to use the blend corner option at the corner of that chamfer on this three okay let me show you how it's done so first one you have to use the point okay in point command you have to go to the on curve okay and then select the curve okay use the distance here so i'm going to use 50 i'm going to click view so you're able to see here is the 50 i'm going to click ok so the one point is created similarly you have to create two point on the remaining two edges So I have created the three point. Now you have to go to the circle command. Just click on the circle command and select the circle type is three points. So click on the three points. So you are able to see point one, point two, point. Three. So I have to choose point one, point two, and point three, and click on the whole circle and just click OK. So this is how a whole circle is created uh, along this point three. Now you have to use the fill option. Just click on the fill, select the circle, and click OK. So I'm going to change the color of the fill so you are able to easily understand. So this is how the it fill look, and I'm going to trim now. Use click on the trim command, select the our base trim, and then the fill surface. Click on the OK. So I don't require now points and the circle. I'm just going to hide that. Okay. So now what I have to do, I have to create a uh, blend corner on this three surface. So I'm going to use the simply method again for the edge corner. Okay. So first of all, I'm showing show you the how to create a blend corner by using point. Now I'm going to select the edges again.
by using control you have to select the all the edges right now i have selected the all the edges now i'm going to the edge fillet okay now i'm going to click ok just right click on the blend corner and select the created by the edges so here you able to see you can change the radius over here i'm going to use 20 you can change the setback distance here 30 is totally depend on you so you are able to see the whole uh, part setback distance is 30 you can individually manage the all the nine setbacks okay so i'm just going to put 30 30 30 or you can use the 35 also it's totally depend on you how you want okay i'm going to click here okay and see you are able to see we have managed to smoothen the corner again so let me show you i'm just going to change the color of this it will be darker shade and going to unhide which we have used already so here so you are able to see we have to ma we have managed to smoothen this corner again so this is how you have to done the blend corner okay what if i want this point further here okay we have created a similar triangle okay 909090 so for this you have to just open the points okay and you can simply change its distance okay so this is how you can uh, able to manage uh, the smoothen corner again okay and then you have to change the setback distance so i hope uh, you understand the blend corner and also you like this video so don't forget to subscribe the channel and Please share with your friends also. Thank you.